Um, instead of always talking about these negative Nancys that are bringing down the rest of the world. And we're going to talk about Joy Sparkles, who makes me embarrassed to be white right now. I mean, she is literally the epitome of white privilege in the United States. So, and, hey, listen, she, you know what? She, she made, uh, we're going to get to this in a second, but she made this apology video and made it very clear that she is, she is not racist. She will tell you a hundred times, she is not racist. Don't come for her. She's not racist. She's not racist. She's not racist. Well, honey, if somebody tells you something enough, you might want to take a look at that. Hello, my loves. It's Joy. Oh, my God. Err, my God. Okay, we have a video. We have a four-part series. And I have been, y'all don't understand. Y'all, y'all don't understand. I've been waiting for this day. I have been waiting for this day for so long. And I knew it was coming, and I warned y'all it was coming, and here it is. It just sucks that it happened on my two weeks off so it can't get more traction. But y'all know me. I'll do everything I can to get the word out. Peter Mon is finally getting his comeuppance. His karma is hitting. And he deserves every ounce of it. Now, a lot of you guys I know are not going to be happy. I know there's, there's something about Peter Mon where people feel like he's infallible to a lot of criticism and that we have to protect him. And you know what? I'm tired of the hypocrisy on YouTube. I'm tired of BS. I'm tired of the fact, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Peter Mon, remember Peter? The one who screamed what a racist I was for a sarcastic comment and joke that people didn't quite understand? Remember that? Been caught saying several racist things, tweets, including the N-word a few times, and he hit it. And he knowingly hit it while he called everybody else fucking racist. His shit is coming to roost. Now, you might be upset, but here's the thing. You've got to understand the majority of people you watch on YouTube don't have your best interest. As I've said, they are attention horse, they are fame horse, and they will ruin anybody's life to get that fame or that attention or that money that they want because they're insecure pricks. And Peter tried this shit on me. And I can't tell you how devastating it was to have him ramp up the harassment about what a racist I was. And I stuck to my guns then, and I'll stick to them now. I apologized if anybody was hurt, but I also said I'm not going to apologize for a joke people misunderstood because people should be able to have humor. Humor is a way to process things, and I'm going to forever stick to that. But I digress. You might be asking, why am I talking about this? Peter apparently apologized, right? So why am I bringing this up? Because I don't believe him. I think his apology's horse shit, and I'm going to showcase why. I'm going to showcase all the hypocrisy because it's not just the tweets. Here's the thing. If you ask me, do I think Peter's racist? Probably not. Just like I'm not racist. Let me tell you what I'm mad about. I'm not so much mad at the racism part as I'm mad at the hypocrisy because all of us, all of us, before you sit on your high horse and want to tell me or other people what to do, we've all said something stupid. Every one of us has said something stupid or laughed at a racist joke. Everybody has done something like that. I'm not immune to it. Almost everybody watching is not immune to that. We've all done stuff like that. So I have all the forgiveness in the world for somebody, right? But with this, he's not sorry in my opinion. He's been a lying hypocrite for a long time. And now, now the evidence is coming out. So, the reason I'm doing this series is because I want to showcase to you guys why I think he's a liar, why I don't think he's sorry, and show the hypocrisy that he has completely neglected and, in my opinion, intentionally left out of everything that he has done and been a part of. I am truly, truly disgusted with his behavior. Disgusted. And you know what? Instead of saying too much right now, this first video, there's probably going to be about four videos on this. This first video in the series I'm doing about Peter Mon, I'm going to showcase the hypocrisy. So it's stuff that you guys might not fully be aware of from a while ago. So I'm not going to say much else. I want you to enjoy, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about his bullshit apologies. And I had a run in with Petty Page. So here we go. Let's get right into this video today. Today we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite YouTube creators. <gasps> Joy Sparkles. 
BS. God, what a perfect name for a channel. Anyway, um, I was, these feathers are like slowly falling off and they're just kind of floating around the world. It's like I live in a feather world. Um, so, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, okay? I have now, I think, made two previous Joy Sparkles videos at this point. And um, those videos were about the fact that Joy Sparkles, who's this YouTuber, she does a lot of videos about like Onision and like strikes on videos and, and the whole world's basically just unfair. I mean, it, it's just not fair. The whole world's fair. Well, Joy, you wouldn't want the world to be fair because if the world was fair, you might be living in some third world country with all of those people that you criticized. So, I mean, fair is fair, maybe. You know, like Billie Jean said, legend of Billie Jean, fair is fair. So anyway. So I was sitting here and I was like, okay, I made these videos and the videos were about the fact that she went in this live stream with this Mr. Nobody and they were laughing and giggling and talking all kind of, so funny, wasn't it? All this racist shit that she was throwing out there. Kill a beast. But anyway, and then she has apparently had all this self-reflection. She's not that person anymore. When you watch these apology videos that she's made, now I made responses to the apology videos. You just sit there and like, for me, it's like if I had a mirror in front of my face, this is what it would look like. What are you saying? 18 minutes of an apology for who? And then she takes absolutely no responsibility. And the shit just continues. That's what I'm about to tell you, right? So anyway, and she had said that she had all these medical issues. And I'm not going to say anything about the medical issues. Like, Joy Sparkles, who left YouTube, is now back. She's changing. She's here for good. Why? Because she has to pay for her medical bills. Oh, girl. Why did you just even say that in a video? Seriously? Because what we need reporting on what's going on in Virginia is a self-proclaimed not racist. Because she'll tell you a million times, I'm not a racist, I'm not a racist, I'm not a racist. But apparently with these deep issues, she's had an entire five days to reflect upon the fact that she's not a racist. She's not back because she self-reflected on all of the sayings that she's not really a racist when she made a lot of racist comments. So basically, y'all are watching her videos to pay for her medical bills. Ain't that some shit, okay? When she says this about, like, I can't work because I have all these medical bills, so I'm gonna have to continue to make videos so that I can pay my video, my, med my medical bills. Alex goes, why doesn't she just get a fucking job like everybody else? Amen. My husband can be kind of smart sometimes. In depth about the fucked up medical system of the United States. Okay, girl, you think we don't know? We all live in it. We all pay inflated prices for, uh, for health care. We don't get our health care needs. But if you had a job where you got health care, I don't. I have to pay private health care. So listen, baby, you, you preaching to the choir right here, okay? We all know it, girl. Okay, but you make eighty thousand dollars a year. You should afford. You should be able to afford health care easily. Okay, so that's the first one. I feel for the gal if she's going through some serious medical issues. And listen, people can sit there and say I came for all day long. I was in a live stream the other day, and somebody wanted to talk about Joy Sparkle's mental health issues and her medical issues and all this kind of stuff. And I said, listen, I am not going there. Okay, there are some things I will never talk about and speculate a rumor on my channel, and that is a somebody's addiction issues and b their mental health issues. I'm not going there. It's not fair to Joy. It's not fair to anybody else. I won't do it. It's not fair to Onision, and I can't even stand him. Right. So I'm not going to do that. But the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk about her medical issues. But in my 21 years of working in the field of mental health, I have never seen any medical issues which cause somebody to be a racist. I'm just saying, girl. Something to think about. When you're spouting your mouth off and you just need to be taught the lesson. If we're in junior high, baby, you're the student that's failing out and we're the teachers telling you how to get better grades, okay? You just don't want to listen and you see the teachers as snipers. That's the fucking problem right there, okay? I didn't say anything in any of my videos that wasn't the truth. You acted a fool, you never really owned your shit, and you still don't own your shit. Your medical issues, and I said this in my last video, I have been in recovery from addiction for 22 years. I have epilepsy that I deal with on a daily basis, and all these other kind of issues. I don't bring them in as excuses that I can't live my life, okay? I feel for you, gal, that you're going through some things and you don't know how to diagnose this diagnose it and you're not getting with the right doctors, I feel for you, okay? But you said before that that was the reason you had to leave YouTube, but now you're back and in 24 hours you post set 20, uh, seven videos. So baby, that obviously ain't the reason. And those medical issues that were keeping you from doing YouTube, I'm not saying you don't have them. I'll believe you all day long. But they didn't stop you from posting seven videos and getting on live streams twice in 24 hours. That's a lot for somebody that's as sick as you are. I'm just saying. Girl, don't nobody care what your opinion is on Trisha Paytas leaving the Big Brother house. But you can't say that you're spreading compassion, kindness, and love and turn it around. Now, people are going to say to me, well, Peter, you say the same thing. No, girl, I'm trying to educate. I'm trying to help you out. You used it so much, okay, that it's obvious that you have never done any self-reflection. 
I just can't with this girl. And what it really is, is her lack of excusing the fact that she has taken no self-reflection on that she really is racist. And have you ever thought the fact that the stress of YouTube, all the hatred and toxicity is maybe causing some of these medical issues for you? I, it's just a thought, okay? Okay, feel exactly the same way you are and they're backing up your beliefs underneath your videos. And they're saying, why do people have issues with these words? Because they're inappropriate and they don't need to be used is why, okay? And if you don't get with that, then you need to educate yourself. It's 2017, it's not, not, it's not 1952. That's the reality, okay? And so it's time to educate yourself, move on, and become a better person. If you really truly do want to self-reflect, if you really do want to self-reflect and learn, then take more than just a week off from you spouting opinions to people. Really take the negative critiques that people are saying to you and go, you know what, maybe there is some truth to this. Maybe I am coming across as a racist. If I am, maybe I need to look at why that's happening. Maybe I really need to think this through, sit down and talk about, think about who I am as a person of character, okay? Not just who I am on YouTube to pay my bills. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later, bye. Speaking of which, I am wearing my I Eat a Rapist hat today, representing my Venezuelan husband and his proud Latino family. Um, so anyway, I want to get right into this and talk about what happened. Dustin contacted me, contacted me, like he was like, your people talk to my people. Dustin and I were talking and he was like, have you seen this Joy Sparkles nonsense? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, there's this whole thing with Joy Sparkles where she was in a live stream, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's what happened. And I will link the entire video below because her excuse of an apology is, nobody watched the whole clip. They only watched 30 seconds of it. No, gal, that ain't the truth. I've watched your whole live stream. I've watched your whole 18 minute apology, which was the biggest joke I've ever heard. I am so tired of these people putting up these apology videos and getting it wrong, okay? If you are going to make an apology to somebody that is heartfelt, don't blame it on other people, A, B, own your shit, and C, move on and change your behavior. All these apology videos, they don't do any of that, okay? I'm so tired of it at this point. Apology, apology, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When I got sober, my dad said to me, he goes, I don't care what you do, but I don't ever want to hear you say I'm sorry again to me, because I'm sorry just means forget what I just did. I mean, you want to talk about cultural appropriation? She is so white. I mean, she is literally the epitome of white privilege in this video. It is so disgusting to watch. There is no apology in the world. Actually, she has now put up an apology video, and she has put up a second apology video about uh, a certain word that was used in her live stream that I don't say because it doesn't ever need to be uttered, okay? I heard uh, tell that there is going to be a live stream later tonight where she's going to come on and discuss racism. She said enough that I need to hear. I don't ever need to hear her speak about racism again. She's no expert on it, okay? So anyway, I'm sitting there watching this video, and then she goes in and tells this funny story about this Mexican boxer, she says. It's a real funny story, right? And that he was... Uh, Red his like one parent was a redhead and one parent was Mexican and so she calls him a ginger Ken. She doesn't think there's anything racist about this, right? And then she goes in this whole thing and let me tell you an exact quote that I actually got from the video on this other channel that I will link below. And the quote is, this is straight from Joy Sparkles who is not a racist, okay? This is all a joke, she said. This is all just meant to be a joke. See, I took it right from that video which I'm gonna link below. Races of brown people were about people butt-fucking and getting poo on their dick and in their wiener hole, and they got stained. Confirmed. We need to make a whole history lesson about how brown people came to be and how the internet hate us. <laughs> That's so funny, gal. And then, in her apology video, she goes in there to talk about how she's from the Midwest, and so she's never truly seen, seen somebody that's African-American. A girl, I'm from the Midwest too, okay? Where in the Midwest did you grow up? I mean, seriously, did you turn on a TV ever in your entire life? Did your family keep you in the basement? I just can't, okay? And this is not just her. I feel like there's just a rampage of all of these fools right now on YouTube. It pisses me off so bad. So I'm sitting there watching this, right? And I am thinking, is this for fucking real? And this dude next to her is laughing. He's just as much to blame, okay? Because if you laugh at the joke, you're just as much part of it. It is so embarrassing to me that she is saying all this kind of stuff. And listen, and she comes back later in her apology video, which just kills me. An 18 minute, minute apology video. Let me tell you how this apology video should have gone, okay? The apology video should have gone like this. Um, I 
said some real shit. A lot of people brought it to my attention that it was offensive. I did not realize that it was because I am such a fucking idiot. So I went back and I watched the clips and you are right. I, it was totally offensive. I think maybe at this point in my life, as uneducated as I am, that maybe I need to take some time off the internet instead of being a role model for other people to influence their ignorance. So I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to learn a little bit about the world, educate myself to be more culturally appropriate, and I'll see you on the other side. I can guarantee you I will not be acting this way again. There's your apology, sweetie, okay? It didn't need to be 18 minutes of this person came for me and if you're gonna come for my career, she goes in this whole thing about how this chick comes for her career and says, if you don't make an apo a public apology in 30 days, I'm gonna come for your career. Girl, you are go not gonna have a career when this is all said and done. You showed your ass in this video, okay? You showed your ass in a live stream and two apology videos. You need to take those apology videos down. They make you look like an absolute fool, okay? The second apology video is even worse than the first, in my opinion. In my opinion. And then she just goes on and on and on. Why is racism the new thing in 2017? Here's my thing, all right? I feel like we have fought for civil rights too hard in the United States for us to take 100 steps back to have our younger generation pull us right back into 1952, okay? I am embarrassed as a 45-year-old man in society today that these young people think there is anything okay about speaking like that today in our world. They're, my mother, listen, I'm telling you right now, I was born in 72 and, you know, like, let's say 76 when I was four or five and I knew well enough to understand what my mother was saying to me. If I ever used a word like that, my mother would have said, you take your ass outside. That language is not used in this house. This is a house of love and compassion. That is such bullshit to me that you're going to sit there and plead ignorance and that you are making a joke about this. Why do people think this is okay? I don't understand this. Her channel should be taken down off the internet. Listen. We of all of us had to suffer the fools on AdSense because of all of this kind of bullshit, okay, that's not ad friendly. And she gets on here and calls brown people poo babies. I'm telling you right now, my mother-in-law would knock her ass to the ground if she said that. She'd be like, I'm a, I'm a what? I mean, like, seriously, it is so disgusting of how she goes on and on in this video. The apology, this is the thing, okay? You could sit and watch the live stream enough and go, okay, this girl's revved up. She thinks she's funny, whatever. It isn't excusable. It isn't okay. But you could kind of understand it. But then to make an apology video where she says no less than 10 times in the video, I'm not a racist, when she displays absolute racism, it's just, it baffles my mind, okay? I know racism and homophobia are not identical. I totally understand that, okay? And I totally can get behind that 100%. But one of the things as a gay man that I cannot stand, and she even says this in there. She's like, I have lots of brown. She excuses why she uses the word brown, first of all, okay? Instead of trying to say, I didn't realize the word brown is offensive. Maybe I should use the word Hispanic or Latino. No, she doesn't say that, right? She continues to use the word brown. She continues to be offensive. And then at the end of the video says, if I offended you, I'm sorry, okay? No, girl, that ain't an apology. That's forget what I just did. See? See what you did there? Forget what I just did and said. But what I really just said was, I'm a racist. You don't get that. You don't get it at all, girl. And I don't have to come for your career, and I could care less, because I didn't know a Joy Sparkles from a, a fucking Joy at the dollar store t two days ago. I didn't know who you were, girl. Couldn't care less. Who Joy Sparkles? She lived down the street with her twin sister. Don't know and don't care. I don't know who you are. I ain't coming for your career, okay? I'm trying to educate you. You need to do some education on how to be more culturally appropriate. It's wrong. And one of the things I cannot stand in society, okay, is when my friends try to get on my level instead of saying to me, you know what, like, you're the first gay couple that I've ever met. Like, you guys, like, are really no different than anybody else. Or, you're the first gay guy that I've ever met. Can I ask you some questions? That's appropriate. What word do you like to be called? Do you like to call your husband lover, boyfriend, husband? What do you like to call him? That's culturally appropriate. You ask somebody the questions. You give them the control. You ask them what's appropriate, okay? You don't define for yourself, I'm going to call them brown because I think it's right. That is fucking wrong, okay? 
to go on about all this kind of stuff, but one of the things I cannot stand is when people say to me, well, my good, Jew, my cousin's a gay, and I have two lesbian friends that are gay that I work, who care, girl, that don't make you the expert on being gay, that doesn't mean anything, except for you got some people in your life that gay, I don't know that you might be just as ignorant with them as you are with me, you know, I am so heated about this, I am literally so fucking heated about this, okay? And I'm heated because people continue to support and endorse this ignorance, okay? Why are we not giving the support to people that deserve it instead of saying to other sources out there, this person is not okay to be having a YouTube channel. This person is giving um, role modeling to younger people and putting ignorance out there in the world. Because if 15 year old watches video the way that she apologizes and says, well, I guess it's okay to call people brown and goes to school and calls the wrong person brown, baby, you ain't coming to school the next day, okay? And Joy, I don't think you've thought about that. I don't think you've really thought about your audience. All you've really thought about is, ain't nobody better come from my channel, okay? It's all selfish. It's all self-centeredness. That's where your total issue is, is I'm just going to explain away my behavior and what I think is appropriate about it and why you better all fuck off. Or like she says appropriately in her video, in her apology video, if you can't get with her gig, y'all can go suck a dick. That's what she says. Well, Joyce Markles, I'm here to tell you with your apologies, your live stream and everything else, baby, y'all can go suck a dick. Good day.